Now let's go over how to make the available changes to a component obvious for the designers. So rather than having a designer guess what can or should be changed in a component, and then digging into the layers to make that change, we can use properties to bring all those possible and suggested changes to the surface. We'll take a few, we'll look at a few different examples for that. We'll start with the badge again. I'm going to add an instance of our badge. And we can see that all the changes that we can make to this badge are listed right over here. And some of them are variants, the different versions that we can see over here, the different sizes, colors, contrast levels. And some of them are other properties, like our Boolean on and off switch for the icon and the text label over here. Then we also have the instance swap property that is conditional. So only once an icon is turned on, can we see the option to swap an icon. So I'm going to turn on the left icon. And now that that icon is showing, I can now choose to swap it with a different one. And so having a lot of properties like this badge implies a lot of flexibility with the component. These badges can be used in a lot of different ways. While having very few properties implies a less flexible component, like the status badge over here, add in an instance of our status badge. Now let's get a closer look. The component is actually quite rigid. There's no way to edit the icon or the text. And this is intentional. It's meant to be really consistent in the designs, always showing the same text and icon. And it's really clear to any designer that they shouldn't make those changes because they're just simply not available over here. So we can pick up on those cues from the design system on how to use our components. Now let's take a look at two other components that take their properties to the next level. Let's take a look at our buttons one more time. So the button component uses a instance swap property for each of its icons. And while it's possible to swap it in any icon, only a handful are used commonly. So these icons can be saved as preferred icons, giving them sort of like a VIP status. And this means that when you go to swap the icon, you can see a little short list of the VIPs for faster editing. So while there are about 100 icons in the system, we only see the five preferred ones. Let's give it a quick test. I'm going to add in an instance on this button. And I'll add an icon. Now that I see the icon, I can swap what it is. And so seeing 100 icons here, I just see this short preferred list of my five most common icons used with button. Although I can, of course, always go into this drop down and use any of the local components. Last, let's take a look at the drop down component. So this component includes nested instances that are exposed. And this feature is still in beta, but you should definitely get it. It just takes a second to change in your settings and it's a total game changer. What's really amazing about this feature is that in addition to editing properties that have been applied to your component, you can also edit the properties applied to the nested instances inside of it from the top level. So these individual rows down here are going to be editable when we simply select an instance of our dropdown. And I'll give you an example. Add an instance. We can see here on this top level, I can control all of the properties that were applied to this component here. In this case, it's just a series of Boolean properties for each individual row. I can add more if I need them. I can also take them away. Let's have just three. And here's where it gets special. Here's where the nested instances are. I have three rows like being exposed right now. I can also see down here, those individual rows. These are the nested instances and they're currently being exposed. So I can configure their properties from right here without having to like click into the component over here. So I have these three rows and let's give it a try. I'm gonna add a left icon for each. 
And then also change which one's active. So like the first one default and the second one active. Great. So as you can see, using properties really is game changing. And it not only makes editing components easier, it also makes knowing which edits to make obvious. Removing a lot of the guesswork for your designers, which is a much better experience. 